This is a photo of my family uh, that were able to smuggle out. That was me in this corner here. And the picture is my father and my mother, my three years older brother, Yaq. My Arabic name is Yusuf. I was born in Baghdad in 1930. So in the 30s, anti-Semitism began to grow. We brought up not to challenge a Muslim. If somebody says bad word to you, don't challenge because it will become worse to the Jews. And the Muslim mobs went into the rampage, looting and murdering Jews. He said in, in Arabic, the name is Farhud. In, in English translated as a violence disposition, they stopped the minibuses. We didn't have big buses, all it was minibuses. Singled out the Jewish passengers. They robbed the men, they slaughtered, they, they slaughtered them. They raped the women and they threw the babies in the river. I was frightened, but my older brother didn't say anything. They said, it's okay, don't worry, everything is okay. But I knew there's something wrong. With this persecution worse, we left. I succeeded to, to smuggle out from Baghdad to Iran. The smugglers took one of these boats and made a false room, 10 feet by 10 feet and two and a half feet, and they covered it with hay. So we were 16 of us in that room. We stayed overnight in that tributary river, and we stayed the whole day hiding in that dark room. And from Iran, I went to Israel. When I arrived, I kissed the ground, and I, first time, I smelt the freedom of fresh air. In the 40s, in Iraq, there was 135,000 Jews living. In Baghdad, there was about 90,000. Today, there's none. When I arrived, I went to the, to the refugee camps, but we never stayed because we look for the future. Whenever we settled, we became part of the country, whether US, England, Europe. We are proud to be part of this country, the citizens. We don't live as a victim. Living as a victim is a miserable life. Ismi Yusuf Sasson and a Kunt Laji Minil Iraq.